All right, so welcome to day one of learning how to play the flute. Now, before we even begin putting your flute together or getting anything else set up, there are some things that I want to remind you of. Uh, always, when you are playing your instrument, please try and find yourself a nice chair. Uh, the proper sitting position for any instrument is spine nice and tall. Sit on the edge of whatever chair you're on. Keep both feet flat on the floor. Shoulders are back and relaxed. Now, I know this seems kind of silly. Why should it matter what our body is doing when we're using the flute to make music? Well, your body is part of your instrument, too. And especially when it comes to our breathing, everything we use to breathe is right here. And if we don't use it correctly, then we won't be able to play correctly. So we have to make sure we have that. Secondly, uh, as you can see, I have my music set up in front of me on a music stand. Now, if you have a music stand, that's great. If you don't, don't worry. You can use another chair and put your music down on that. Uh, if you are reading your music on a computer screen and you can put your computer on a desk that's about this level, that's fine too. Just make sure it's positioned so that you can calmly and easily look at the music without having to bend your head too far down or too far up. Again, we want to keep ourselves nice, straight, as tall as possible, so we don't want to change any of that. Now, the last thing we need to think about is our breathing. Obviously, you're playing a wind instrument. Without causing wind, you can't cause the music to sound. So, when you are breathing, one good thing to practice is, again, make sure you're sitting up straight and tall. Hold your, face, your hand right in front of your face and breathe in. Now, when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in from down here, what we call our diaphragm. That way, we are filling up all this area of our body, of our lungs, with air. So, breathe in, then breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now you should feel a nice cool breeze on your hand. That means you're doing it right. Now, do that again, but when you breathe out, whisper the word to. So you go to. That was what we call tonguing. It's how you start any sound when you play a musical instrument. You don't start it with the breath, you start it with the tongue. So again, have your hand ready to go. Breathe in from your diaphragm. Do it again, breathe in. Just like that. One breathing exercise you can do is if you tap your foot in a steady beat, like we learned about last time, breathe in for four counts, hold it for four counts, then breathe out with two for four counts. It should sound like this. Hold. Two, three, now breathe. And just do that a couple times until you really feel confident with your breathing. Now, sometimes you might feel a little sore in here after a while. Uh, exercising the diaphragm is just something you got to do with practice. Now, we're going to get to our flute. Now, I have my flute right here. I'm positioning it on my lap so you can see it. My best advice to you, especially with a brand new instrument, is Open your flute up on the floor and put it together on the floor over the case. That way, if you accidentally drop something, it only goes a couple inches and lands on the case. If we try and do it up here like this, up above everything, and we drop it, it's going to fall a couple feet to the floor and it's going to break. Besides, everything we're doing right now only uses one piece. And I'm going to pull that out right now. And that one piece is this one right here. It has the single hole on it. This is what we call the head joint. Now, your head joint should have a little screwed on piece right here. Don't mess with that. And an open part on this end where the rest of the flute gets connected. Now, we're only going to use this because you need to understand how to make a sound on the head joint before you can even do anything else. So we're only going to practice with this for right now. So what I would like you to do is hold one hand right here, the other hand blocking right here. Now we need to get your mouth in the correct position, what we call the correct embouchure or the correct shape of the face so that you can actually make a sound. Now, this part right here on the head joint, let me get a little closer so you can see it, is called the embouchure plate. That is literally where your mouth goes and you blow across this hole to make the sound. So what you do is you hold the embouchure to the bottom plate, the embouchure plate to your bottom lip, Hold your hands like this, 
rotate it just a little bit closer to your face, pinch the corners of your mouth just a tiny bit closed, then all you need to do is blow straight across like this. If it makes that sound, you did it right. If it doesn't, you might need to rotate the head joint back and forth a little bit until you get the sound right. The best way I can explain playing the flute is it's just like when you were a kid and you had a water bottle or a soda bottle and you drank a little bit of it, then you blew across the top to make the to make, have it make that sound. It's the exact same thing with the flute. You're blowing across the top of the tone hole in order to make the sound come out. So I'm going to show you that again. Now a good exercise is once again, we go back to counting our four beats. So breathe in for four beats, and then play a tone for four beats, and then rest for four beats. So it should sound like this. One, two, ready, breathe in. Now play. Now rest. Two, three, breathe in. And that's all you really know you need to know to get started. All it takes is some breathing and some playing. That's what I want you to practice. Now, when we meet next time, uh, we will be uh, reviewing that. And I'll show you a couple other things you can do with the head joint. But I want to make sure you're comfortable with the head joint first before we get to the rest of the flute. That's extremely complicated. But if you can't make a sound on the head joint, then you can't make a sound on the flute. Very simple. So that is what you're going to be working on today.